social and ethical issues, the merging of radio, television, communications, and the internet. So, traditionally these systems accessed an analog signal which contained variable values, and essentially these analog syst signals were different for all of the different technologies. So the signal for radio, the signal for television, and the signal for communications, and obviously the internet wasn't even in the picture traditionally, they all were talking a different analog language. Now, these days, though, data within these technologies has been converted to a digital format, which provides many advantages to users. When a device uses a digital signal, it can talk with other digital devices. So now, because they're all speaking the language of zeros and ones, that binary language, they can communicate with each other and share data across different devices. The merging of different technologies in the IT industry is referred to as this concept of convergence. Our devices now can all be integrated and their technology and different signals into one specific device. And your mobile phone is the best example of that. Okay, you can watch movies on your mobile phone, you can access the internet, and obviously you can make calls as well, which is traditionally what phones are always for. All right, so all this combination of technology is known as convergence. So essentially, as a result of this, this merging of technologies, televisions can now access more channels through the use of the internet, and you see that with the apps on your TV. And the digitization of radio has opened up access for signals from all over the world, because now it's just picking up through internet signals, and we gather them um, through using our digital radios. Mobile phones are also able to access a variety of communication networks, not just the traditional cellular network, but also wireless and 4G technologies uh, that are set up allowing them access to different types of networks and as well as previously mentioned we can access movies and music on our phone too so other forms of media that was once never possible when I was young on my phone so firstly let's look at the negative sides of this and look really they come as a fact of the changes in technology so the first one is some traditional technology is now obsolete. So as all devices are now using digital signals, it has meant that older devices dependent on an analog signal are now obsolete, meaning individuals need to purchase new technology. It's kind of forcing them into it. And the things that they've had for all these years, well, now they kind of don't work anymore. All right, so they need to go for an update. This in turn leads us to our next issue of the costs of new technology. We have to spend if we need to obviously keep up to date with technology. So keeping up to date with this can be expensive. And especially these days as manufacturers want you to purchase all the compatible devices. You know, the, the phone goes with a certain type of device that goes with your TV, that goes with another wearable device and a, with your tablet. They kind of want you getting all their devices to get the full effect. But obviously that comes to you as a consumer and choosing what you want to buy. And if you do want to adopt all that technology, okay, but it can be expensive. But really, let's look at the positive side. And the first one is the centralization of uh, information and media. Users can access multiple sources of data on a single device, which traditionally was not possible. I can access so much on my phone, okay? I can watch my movies on my phone. I've already said it all before, okay? This is an amazing thing. And it's the same with the computer I'm on right now and what I have access to and what I can do on my computer. That is because everything is speaking a digital language. Secondly, is the convenience that comes as a result of that. Okay, more than ever, we have access to so much information at media, which is right here at our fingertips. Okay, I can do research, I can watch a movie online without even needing to fully download to my computer, I can just stream it right now. Okay, and this is all at the selection of my choosing. So really, this merging through digital signals is an amazing thing. So I hope this video has given you an understanding of the merging of radio, television, communications, and the internet, and essentially how all this convergence of all these different types of or traditionally di different signals in analog format, but now that they are digital, has allowed for our devices to bring all these technologies together and for data to be shared across the different technologies, which really gives great convenience to the users of these systems.